Hello! It's been a long time since I made a video and I plan on making more, don't worry. I thought I would show you in this video the Covid antibody test because I have one. This is uh, sent to me by via the government, you have to apply for it. Because I work in uh, health, I uh, am uh, allowed to have one. I've had this a while, they, uh, I actually got it last week and they sent me an email saying you haven't returned it yet, hurry up and return it. So I better do that. I've already had the main COVID test. I, I showed that on the video several months ago. Ah, uh, that one inch. Uh, okay, that's about an inch. Ah, uh, that is not nice. The reason I had the other test is because I felt really bad at the time, but it came back negative, um, so I just carried on. Um, but I'm convinced that I have had something because um, my chronic fatigue this year has been way worse. People have been describing long COVID symptoms, which is basically very similar to what my CFS. Everything has been tasting bizarre to me. I know they say like, if, if you lose your taste or smell, I haven't lost my taste or smell, but everything has just been wrong. You know, like when you uh, brush your teeth and then eat or drink something afterwards, everything is just wrong. I've been like that for the last few months where everything has just been wrong basically and uh, it, it's been quite annoying because I, I have things which I used to like and like it just doesn't taste right and uh, there's been a few other um, things as well so what we have we've got specimen transport bag we've got three of these things I don't know what they are I'm basically learning um, this as I show you. Got one of these, I don't know what that is. Got a cleansing wipe, got alcohol swab, got some sterile plasters, got a uh, return envelope or plastic bag, uh, a return form and some instructions. All right, so uh, we're gonna go through this together and it actually has here a list of what should be in my kit. So I'll just double check that I do actually have all of those. So I've got collection tube, Two plasters, alcohol wipe, cleansing wipe. These are called Lancets, apparently. Got three of those. A mailer, I guess that's this. Jeep label, that's that. Clear plastic bag. Cardboard box, that's that. It actually lists the box that everything comes in as a label of contents. And return form, which... Uh, Oh yeah, this is the return form, I think. Is this the return form? Yeah, this is the return form, but it has the, the label on it, so there's two different things on here for one thing here, really. Okay, read instructions in full. Okay, right, apparently there's a video I can watch, so I, I will do that. Right, being hydrated is the best thing you can do. To prepare, drink two glasses of water at least 30 minutes before your test. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to go and drink lots of water and I'll come back in 30 minutes, I guess. Hi, I'm Dr. Samara Shahani and I'm a GP in London. And I'm going to walk you through how to collect your blood sample while Seth demonstrates each step. I have drank lots of water, about half an hour has passed I mean, I, and I've watched the video that they've got um, telling you how to do it all. And so basically I need to... Um, move about a bit I guess this is to get the heart pumping so yeah obviously um it's probably better not to do this behind a table so uh I don't have a lot of space in here that's good all right so and uh this is warm water which I'm going to pour into this bowl so I watched the video explaining how to do it all and uh, so first of all, you need to make sure your hand is clean, obviously. And uh, you're gonna get the heart pumping, then put it in the warm water uh, just to uh, warm it up. I've got um, the video queued and ready to play in case I need to uh, refer back to it, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just reading the instructions, I'm doing this in the wrong order. I'm supposed to have everything set up before putting my hand in the water, which would actually probably logically makes sense if you think about it 
anyway, so my hand is warm, and I've done, done the exercises, done done a few things to get get the heart pumping. Right, so this is the box that came in, and they showed on the video this little tube here, and there's a little hole in here which I didn't notice, but it is on the video, and they put, pop that in there like so. That is where I'm going to pour me blood. So if you don't like blood, just warning you, there is blood going to be. I try not to show too much. Three lance sets. Apparently you only need one. The other two, as far as I can make out, in case you mess up and you need to do it again. So uh, hopefully that won't be necessary. Right, so I've removed, I put the cap in the thing. Uh, I need to get plaster prepared and ready. So, uh, okay. That is ready to rock and roll. Now I put my hand in the water, okay. For two minutes. It says on here, you your hand must be lower than your elbow to keep the blood flowing. So that's why I'm, I'm doing the standing up. And I'm, I'm standing up with my legs wide apart so I'm all in frame. And you can see the table. I had a bit of a, a, a mission trying to get everything in shock because this is quite a late table. But I stand up normally and it cuts off my head. So I'm spreading my legs wide apart so that I can kind of be in shock and show you the table. Next side, use the lancet. Clean your finger with the alcohol wipe. Where's the alcohol wipe? Alcohol swabs, that's the alcohol swabs. We recommend using your finger on a non-dominant hand. Ah, you see, it did say that in the video and I've gone and stuck my right hand in there. And the water's starting to cool down. To remove the protective tip, of, right, so this is the lancet. So I need to, they showed on the video how to do this. How do you do this? Twist it one full turn and then pull away. Oh, there we go, that came out quite easily. You just have to give it a twist. I, I wasn't twisting it, but no, you, you need to twist it. Place your hand face up on a hard surface. This table is clean. I cleaned it before doing this. Place the lancet down on the centre of your fingertip. Now on the uh, video, she recommended I use my ring finger. Press down firmly on the purple button until you hear a tip click. You can only use each lancet once. Okay, right. I guess this is no worse than having a diabetes test, although I've never had it. Actually, oh, I have actually. I have been checked for diabetes when um, I was first started struggling with my fatigue. They checked for diabetes, so I guess it can't be any worse than that. Although someone else is clicking it. It says in the in the video that if you can't do it, get someone else to do it for you. Okay, I am actually pushing it quite. I'm pushing it quite hard now, and it's not doing anything is this working and I was a bit hesitant at first I admit that but I, I am actually um okay here we go one two three maybe there's nothing wrong with this maybe that's why they give you spares if you've got a defective one right one two three ow okay <coughs> You do, basically, I just wasn't pushing hard enough. That's what it was. Man. A massage downwards every three to four seconds. So I'll start in the palm. Do not squeeze. Oh, there we go. It stings a bit. Oops, totally missed the tube there. I'm getting it all over the box. Because this box has to be sent back. I'm sure they're used, probably used to seeing boxes like that. Okay, let me dry that off. I filled it up to the line. Uh, I think I'm supposed to clean this now, this. It, me it mentioned on the video, the cleansing wipe, but it doesn't seem to mention it on here. So I'm gonna just clean that up. Ow! Stings, plaster.
plaster is hopeless. Actually, genuinely is hopeless. I've got my own plasters. Right, so I'm going to clean this up. Ah! Right, where's the lid? I don't want to drop this. <clears throat> right there, and it says you've got to push the lid down firmly. It's not a screw cap, it's a click. Is that on? Seems to be. Then I need to slowly, gently turn it upside down 10 times. One, two, three, and it's supposed to solidify. While I'm doing this, I'm going to go and find a better plaster because the ones they provide are hopeless. All right, I can, I'm allowed to sit down now. So it says the blood will solidify. Um, so I hope I'm doing this right. It, uh, right. It's going to go straight over the top, wrap it around. I'm sure they used, I'm, I bet they get like thousands of the boxes come through with blood stains on them because, like, that's right where you're pouring at. I'll give that a proper clean in a minute. Right, then you've got your bag, so you put this into the bag. Oh, no, no, I've missed a step. That was nearly a cock up. I've got a label. First, I put this label on it. Almost cocked up there. I bet that sort of thing happens all the time. I mean, it's an easy mistake to make. Right, so the label is on. That's got the QR code. Then you put it in the bag. I'm glad I did actually watch the uh, instructional video. They do it far better than what I am. I wonder how many takes it took them to do it, because I'm just doing this it's all in one go. Then, um, then basically, uh, oh, there's a form here. I need to do the, I need to write the date and time. So it's currently three o'clock in the afternoon, and it's the 3rd of November, 2020. So I guess that is sealed. There's a sticky thing, so I pulled that off. That's all stuck. That's in there. So pen. So I need so it's um, collection sample date. It is the third day of November twenty, and it is three o'clock in the afternoon. Fifteen hundred hours. That goes in the box. So this is the box everything came in, so using the same box to return everything. Okay. Then, don't worry, I'm not going to put this through the post with dried blood all over the box. They give you a return envelope. So... That goes in... Here. Now you can't post this on the weekend because they don't want it sitting in the post box for too long. So they um, that's just why I didn't get around to doing it last week because basically time passed and then it was the weekend and it's like it's too late now. So they don't they don't they want it fresh basically. So I go and post this. They recommend using an a priority post box. Apparently they have a, an NHS sticker on the post box. I've never seen one. But I've looked up where the local ones are, and apparently my local one is a priority one. So I'm going to go down there and see if it does indeed have an NHS sticker on the post box. This has stopped hurting, so that's good. It's raining. There is a huge pheasant eating food from my feeder outside. So this, this is what was happening outside my window while I was doing my blood test. Pheasant eating seeds. But anyway, I am going to get my coat, 
go down the road and post this. I'm going to film it on my phone so the quality will be a bit less good. I turn my microphone off at this point. Basically, what I'm saying is don't prick the finger that you need to activate your phone because you can't use it. It is indeed a priority box. Oh, look at that. It is now the next day and I have got a text message. So I'm going to put my phone on the screen just there and open up text messages. And as you can see, the top one is from the NHS. So if I open that up, and it says NHS COVID-19 notification, dear Terence Lees, your blood test did not detect any coronavirus COVID-19 antibodies. It's a negative results. So basically what they're saying is that I've not had the illness, which is a good thing. Yay. But also it means there's something else that's been making me feel like crap um, all this time and making me cough and making everything taste weird. Um, but yay, I'm not like got the horrible disease I just have something else that's messing me up anyway that's that for that video and I'll see you again soon bye